and welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com so sunset riders this is one of my favorite games in the arcades it is based upon the teenage mutant ninja turtles arcade game meaning that it uses a very similar graphics engine so if you enjoyed that game then obviously you will enjoy this game and that's one of the main reasons why this really caught my eye when i first saw this in the arcade i was like well it's a konami game and konami uses a lot of the same art styles and even engines for a variety of their games but when i saw sunset riders i was thinking that looks a lot like teenage mutant ninja turtles but with cowboys but wow this game has a lot going for it it's not just a uh Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, ripoff uh, with you know just different characters. It is its own game, and it's just something that I did not expect because you know back then in arcade games, at least uh, whenever I went to the arcades, most of it was like shoot 'em ups, fighting games, uh, you know, some side scrollers of course. Um, but this one, uh, it was different. You know, there was definitely Western games back then as well, but this one just did it in a way that I think is really fun, action-packed. The graphics are great. It has that whole Konami style. It just had all these special ingredients that, you know, made it special, in my opinion. And like I said, very similar to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in that case, where it's just really, really fun. But at least for me, I enjoyed Sunset Riders more than I did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know? Uh, just because it has this whole aesthetic that I love. The Western atmosphere, I really did like watching Western so forth. And also, for some reason, I would say this game just feels a lot faster uh, than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And so everything just moves quicker, you know? And then it has all these Western elements that obviously you simply won't get in a game like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So that's kind of where the comparisons end for me. Because Subset Riders, it's for those people who just enjoy it easy going fun action game and the characters they are different you know they're not just simply palette swaps um like you play up to four players and each one of them has a different type of default gun style and you can power up those as you see here and this has a lot of character and humor as well it's like a good old western you know so if you enjoy you know movies from tim eastwood and whatnot then you really will enjoy this it has a lot of those great western elements Oh man, and the difficulty of this game, I would say it's easy, you know, it's not a really hard game, um, but whenever you have four players, things get, just gets crazy, so I would say it's easy, but in a good way, you know, in, in a way that just keeps the game moving, and where you're not really super frustrated because you're dying so many times, so, you know, whenever I went to the arcades, you know, I could spend a good amount of money on most of these arcade games because, you know, they're really meant to suck your quarters. Uh, but in this case, you know, it did it in a way where I didn't feel like I was being cheated because I could last a pretty long time with just even like, you know, a uh, few quarters, you know, which is always a good thing because you get to play longer uh, for your money. And then, you know, they do add variety, uh, like what we have right here with the horse stage. Oh, man. I really did enjoy those elements. And it's a very, very colorful game. I really love these graphics. Konami, you know, they really don't disappoint when it comes to graphics and sound. And this one, I think it, it really did set its own benchmark, especially in the Western game arena. And look at that, those explosion stuff. And this game did get home ports, uh, but the arcade's definitely the best, you know. And I don't recall that there ever was a sequel to this game. Now, there is another game that's very similar to this, also made by Konami, but instead of Cowboys, it has bulls and cows. And <laughs> so uh, I'll probably do a review on that later. I don't remember the name of that game, but basically it's the same engine uh, in a Western environment, but now you're playing four different cows and bulls. So yeah, yeah. and it is different. It's, it is different from this one. Um, but yeah, Sunset Riders, wow. And you know, whenever, back in the day, during this time when this game was made, you know, we had uh, team, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I say, but also X-Men, uh, the four-player X-Men, which uses the same graphics engine. And it's very similar to this as well, in terms of just the whole side-scrolling action. Uh, but in that case, that was more like beat em up you know, in this one, it's more of a shoot em up And, ah, this is just, brings back a lot of memories. I, I just spent a lot of time playing this. And initially, you know, I, I was kind of like, kind of hesitant at first, you know? 
Um, but as stated earlier, just for the simple fact that I enjoy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, it drew me to it, and I'm so glad I actually played it. You know, it's, it's just one of those games that I could just go back to over and over and still have a great time. I don't, I don't think I've really ever gotten bored of this game. And if I remember correctly, this game isn't a really long game. I think there's like maybe five stages total. And so you can definitely pass this in your arcade, you know, and you don't have to spend, like I said, a ton of money. And after you play this a while, you know, you really get used to all the enemy patterns. You know, well, I died a lot there. And at least for me, um, this character, this first player character, I don't like, I don't really like this character because it's, he has a single shot. My favorite one is the character that has a spread shot as his default gun. Uh, but unfortunately, it's like third player and I have the first player. <laughs> so, let me see. So his shots are supposed to be stronger, I guess, because it is a single shot. So this enemy's kind of a little tricky to kill because he's obviously jumping around. So let's see. Oh no, that's bad thing. Okay. All right. Let's. Oh. All right. Okay. Almost there. Move around a lot faster. And obviously when you're playing with more people, it is more fun. And it definitely does bring the difficulty down a bit. Uh, I don't recall amping up the difficulty that much. Oh man, I wish I had a, I wish I had a spread shot right now. Because that would have made it so much easier. Alright, finally. Wow. And you do kind of get a reward. And honestly, without a money reward you get... It doesn't really make that much of a difference. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Because um, I don't recall that you actually buy anything with it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in this game, you don't use it to buy anything, you know, uh, as I recall, but who knows. You might have a buying section, but it's just basically for high scores. And this game you know this would have made i think if they made like a whole game like this you know a light gun game it would have been fun i think you know um capcom made some great light gun games uh lethal enforcers the one that come to mind but this would have been perfect as a light gun game it would just obviously have to add more variety than this bonus stage but it would have been fun okay all right thank you mom Okay. All right. Bonus stage done. Got some more money, which can't use any of it. I guess. <laughs> uh, going to this good balloon. Yeah. And there's my power up. Oh yeah. And I really did wish that there was a sequel, you know, and I'm pretty sure there wasn't a sequel to this game besides that cow game version of this uh, that I just talked about earlier. And because this was, as I recall, a pretty popular game, you know. I saw this game in a lot of arcades. Um, the home versions, it was on the Genesis and Super Nintendo, if I remember correctly. And even though they did a good job, especially with Super Nintendo because, you know, it can produce more colors and has a better sound chip. None of them were arcade perfect, you know, and I wouldn't expect them to be, but I'm really surprised that, you know, this wasn't released later on more powerful consoles, as I recall. Um, maybe it came in like a arcade pack or something, but I don't recall it coming out on the PlayStation or uh, Saturn or, or any of those other ones just by itself as a standalone, you know, I don't remember, but I'll probably check later to see if that actually did occur, but there it goes. And the other thing with this game is, since it is, you know, a really fast-paced action pack, you don't, reala uh, you don't realize that, you know, it's basically the same enemies, <laughs> there's not too many different enemy types. So, all right, I'm gonna shoot this rider. And after this, I'm gonna play one more stage. Oh, wow. And this stage, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die a lot because I remember dying a lot on this stage. Let's see if I can remember how to... 
Okay, that's how it gets. Oh. So if you stay down there, you get hit a lot. <laughs> if you come up here, you might get shot by these other enemies up there, but it's a lot better up here. Because you have to constantly jump and uh, dodge. This one. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay. And I would say this one, he's probably easier than the last one. And, ooh. and you know what? If they ever did a remake of this game, like, uh, you know, a modern version with souped up graphics and sound, this would be awesome. I, I, I would still play it. And I hope, hopefully they do make a sequel to this, you know, I mean, I know it's been years and years. But I wouldn't mind if there was even a sequel using this retro graphics, you know. Uh, a lot of game makers have been doing that, you know, with their retro gaming. They'll make a sequel, an actual sequel, but they'll use the older graphics style. Alright. Alright, so let's see. Something there. Now we're going in the saloon, nope. Maybe another railway. <laughs> All right, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, man. Okay, the twins. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, so this stage actually had double bosses. Oh. <laughs> it was just one. Okay. Okay. I think that is. Oh man, oh yeah, I forgot I could actually jump up on here. Makes it a lot easier to take these guys out. It's been a while since I've played this, oh man, but then I could get burned up there. That's okay, because I have unlimited quarters. <laughs> Not like when I was a kid. Okay, now I'm on this side, and now I got another power up. So, yeah, that's auto right there. Oh, can't jump on them, great. I want to get the other. Up there. I should have just stayed on the other side. Yeah, I should have just stayed on the other side. With the power up, I could have easily taken him out. Oh well. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Obviously, you can tell, not that great at this game. Alright. Finish. <laughs> and he blew up. Great. Alright. Woo! Little party! Oh, you boys are so kind. Okay. So, alright. And then I think there was like one more stage after this, but uh, I think I'm gonna finish it off after this stage. All right, now I got my semi spread rapid fire. Oh well, I had it. <laughs> There's just a lot of humor in this game. And another thing that would have been cool, you know, um, for Sunset Riders is if they made an anime. You know, I don't know if they ever made an anime, but this would be. Perfect as an anime. Yeah. And it kind of did have some anime elements at the beginning when you saw the intro. Okay. Alright. Oh! I, I, I didn't remember that you could get killed by that those piece of wood or those posts. Okay. Let's see what we got. And most of these bosses, uh, you know, I say this now, but they're not too hard. You know? Oh. You know, now, now I'm gonna die a lot just after saying that. I mean, like, this one, he's definitely more difficult than 
the other one because he's moving around. It's just that if, if you have one of these characters that doesn't have a good like range with their bullets, like this one, it does make it harder. You know, but if you had like a one of the characters had a spread gun or a, sh a more powerful shotgun, you know, anything that spreads, then you know these bosses are. The whole game as a whole is pretty easy. Oh man. I'm getting whipped. Alright, so. Oh man. Amazing how my foot my gun can't defeat this guy <laughs> with the with the whip. Alright, okay. Oh no. Oh man, all right. I just want to pass this one. Come on, get that $95,000 reward for nothing. Come on, Steve. Okay. Oh. Oh man. It's just more like tedious whenever you have a enemy like this and then you don't have rapid fire or you know or spread it's just tedious to fight some of these enemies and these bosses you know they're not i wouldn't say they're very memorable you know i, I would definitely say the bosses in uh, x-men teenage mutant ninja turtles they're a lot more memorable but they do fit the theme of the the game you know but uh they're not as exciting <laughs> All right, come on. I just need a few more hits. Wow. Yeah, and the home ports, you know, they did an admirable job. You know, I was just, I just wish like they had a really perfect arcade home version. You know, especially when the hardware got so much better. All right, got my fifty thousand dollars reward. Yep, and let's play one more bonus stage. And then we'll wrap this episode off. Sunset Rockers. Yeah. Let's see uh, if I could do better than I did last time. Right? I don't even remember what my score was last time. Probably 20 something hits or something. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. What did I get? No. Eh, I think it's about the same. <laughs> okay. Alright, actually there are more stages. Three. Well, that is it for this episode. Sunset Riders. Definitely one of the most fun games that I've played in the arcades. Definitely classic Konami, and if you haven't played it, play this game. You know, <laughs> you won't regret it. It's it's really fun. You know, especially you know if you have like uh, other people playing with you. you know, it's a fantastic multiplayer game. So if you actually have any thoughts on this or any other arcade game that you've enjoyed, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my retro game reviews, I do have playlists. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like. And subscribe and if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that i don't put out here publicly on my youtube channel then join my goal content creators group where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there and the best part is all of this is 
free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.